Uh, hi, my name is Wayne. I'm a second year undergraduate student at the University of Hertfordshire studying astrophysics. Um, I've transferred into the second year uh, from a, another university where I was studying maths and physics. And um, it's, I, I'm doing quite well here at the moment and I'm predicted a first, just coming up to my second year exams now. But um, my reason for transferring from the previous university and uh, was, was because I had a, quite a lot of difficulties with my study. Uh, having dis been dis diagnosed sort of two years ago with dyslexia. Now, I've been back in education now for about five years and this came as a bit of a shock really. Um, and it's, what it's actually meant is I've had to relearn how to learn in a lot of cases. Uh, I've had to change my study methods and so on. And as part of this, um, I've dis I found out that having notes in advance of lectures actually plays a very, very crucial part of me being able to understand the material that's provided. Now, as the, uh, with my dyslexia, it's not the sort of stereotypical word jumbling which a lot of people associate. Um, with me, it's, it's primarily based upon reading processing speed and actual reading processing itself. And um, what I find is that when I actually read something, I will have to read it many, many times to be able to process it particularly if I'm actually under pressure. So in, uh, in an exam environment, for instance, I may have to read something 15 or 20 times. Uh, I also get very, very fatigued when I'm reading. So reading any large volume of texts, I very quickly start to switch off and can't actually focus or remember what I'm reading. The, uh, my writing speed, accuracy, and legibility is also poor, and this actually makes it difficult to take notes in lectures. Um, as a consequence of this, I've actually been given a, a smart pen which lets me record the lectures and I find that very useful. My, the other thing is that my working memory is poor as well and uh, this impacts in lectures by um, making it difficult for me to actually remember what's been said for long periods of time so I have to get it down very quickly. Uh, I've had very good support from universities in general but at UH I've had very good support. Uh, I find the staff here extremely helpful and the Disabled Students Allowances have given me some funding for various hardware and software which has also been good. Um, I've already mentioned that it was a smart pen. Okay so now I'm going to talk a bit about what it's like uh, for me for, uh, before a lecture um, when I actually have notes available. Uh, ordinarily what I'll do is I'll read the notes beforehand to familiarise myself with them and to process the contents of the notes. As I've said before, this, takes, this is the bit that actually takes me the, the, the longest amount of time actually processing the written material. Um, I use this to, to get the big picture and then, as I've said before, to fill in the details, but it's, it's to check my understanding uh, of the prerequisites. So if, if I realise that I don't quite understand something from previously, I'll go back to previous notes or to a, to a textbook to actually read up on, on that particular piece of information and make sure that I understand it fully. Um, all of this actually helps me to actually feel prepared for the lecture and consequently what it means is I can, uh, I can also prepare questions for the lecturer um, and uh, I can also feel that I'm participating actually in the lecture itself. Now when I actually attend the lecture um, I don't actually have to read the slides uh, and process the material that's actually on the slides. I can just skim through them and just think well I've, I'm familiar with that already, I've read it, I know what this section is going to be about. So what that means is I can then listen to the lecturer properly. I can give him my full attention, um, what he's saying, what he's writing, and I can make additional notes on what he's saying, what he's writing on the board, and so on. So I suppose the difference here is that I can actually focus on the understanding of what's being said, rather than just getting written, written words down on paper, um, copying stuff down. This, this all helps me to relax and it, as I said, I think it, uh, it makes the, the whole lecture a lot more enjoyable. <coughs> After the lecture, what I'll do is I'll consolidate my notes from the actual slides themselves, from any notes that I've taken from the, pay, from, from the actual lecture that I've written on using my smart pen. Um, I'll perhaps listen back to recordings from my smart pen to get any, anything else that I may have missed. And I'll also look at additional sources and add in extra bits and pieces from there. Uh, I'll then use this, this to, to, to help my understanding and then actually do the tutorial work as well. Um, before the next lecture, I'll revise the previous notes, usually, well, I, I tend to do it the day before, but sometimes it's the morning before, so it's very fresh. Um, 
and also I download any other notes that come up for the next lecture and then read and process those as before. Um, now, when I don't actually have any notes, <coughs> there's quite a difference. Um, I'll go into the lecture not being prepared at all. Uh, I haven't seen what's, of, what's going to be coming up, so I don't know the topic necessarily. The lecturer may have mentioned it in the previous lecture, but more often than not, this is not the case. So I haven't had time to actually, uh, or not time, sorry, I haven't had the ability to actually look into texts, to, to, to read around a bit, to find out what I should be learning. Um, I've got no idea of the actual big picture, so the, the structure of the lecture itself. This is very important to me. Um, if I don't get the bigger picture and, and what was the, the general sort of topic, I find it very hard to actually take in and understand the, the smaller pieces and how they fit in to the overall big picture. This all can make me feel very stressed at times and because I'm unprepared and obviously when you feel stressed it then makes it more difficult to focus on what you're doing. You're then stressed about getting the uh, writing everything down, all this sort of thing, and it takes away from the enjoyment of the actual lecture itself. Um, I will actually read any previous notes that I've had before the lecture, but um, again, this, this just serves to reinforce what we've already done rather than what we're going to be doing. Now, when I attend that lecture, <coughs> I have to read and process the slides. As I've mentioned before, this is um, this is very difficult, and, and um, it's something that I have to concentrate extremely hard on, and it takes up my whole concentration. I can't do anything else other than this. I can do that, or I can copy the slides down, or I can listen to the lecture and make notes. But as I said before, I can only do one of these. With the smart pen, I can record and listen back. So technically, I can do two, but that's still only two out of three. Generally, what I'll try and do, if, if I'm not going to be able to get the notes for a while, is I'll try and copy the notes down, or as much as I can, and then um, listen to, uh, and then actually use the audio to actually record the lecturer, and then listen back to it, and try and hope that I actually understand what he's saying just from the audio. But there's a lot lost in this. <coughs> um, I feel, during the lecture, I'm pressured to understand there and then, and from written material particularly, this is very, very difficult for me. But you know, having time to actually process things in your own time is, is really, really key. I think particularly with, to somebody such as myself with learning difficulties, um, you need time to process things. You need time to think about it from a, perhaps a slightly different way, go and look at another source, do some cross-referencing. And you just don't get this when you're just presented with the information there and there. And as I've said several times now, I can't contribute, um, I'm not I can't actually listen to what the lecturer is saying and what that means is I'll actually miss questions that are asked. So I may realise that there's a pause and that he's waiting for a question to be answered and ordinarily I'd, I'd, quite be, I'd be very happy to contribute and actually answer the question but I won't have actually heard the question because I'm busy writing things down. And so I, I just sit there, you know, a lot of other, perhaps other people won't answer either. But I just feel that I can't contribute then, and I do enjoy contributing in lectures. Uh, consequently, from, from all of this, I, in a lecture that where I've not had notes, I feel like I'm playing catch-up all the time. So um, I'm constantly just looking for the breaks when there's a, a break in the speaking and so on to actually try and catch up with the writing, try and get down what I can. This, compounded with my, um, my short-term memory problems, or working memory, whatever you want to call it, uh, means that I, I will forget things, so I, I, I can only learn, remember a certain number of things before, uh, before writing them down, so I won't necessarily get all the lecture down. After the lecture, I've got limited notes to work with, so I haven't got the, the full sheet of, uh, of the slides and then the comprehensive notes taken during the lecture. This means that I have to spend a long time trying to find information from other sources and um, and then actually re reading whole sections perhaps of a book, whereas if I have slightly more specific um, areas to look at, I can, I can focus on those. And this, but this, this whole thing is very time consuming, as I've said, reading uh, large volumes of text takes me a very, very long time. I generally feel that I understand things a lot less when I actually don't have notes beforehand and, and have this whole ability to, to process things beforehand as well. And this consequently makes tutorial work a lot harder to do. And what I've found in the past, actually, is that 
I can end up feeling like I'm actually working just to answer questions rather than actually working to understand and then actually answering questions. So I'll get to the point where I think I've got my tutorial work to do but I don't have time. Uh, what do I do? Do I learn and uh, understand the material? Do I do the lecture question? Do I do the tutorial questions? And I'll actually just work to answer the questions instead because it feels like being productive. But um, that's the difference between the two when I have notes and when I don't have notes. So some of the technology that I've actually been uh, awarded through the uh, Disabled Students Allowance Fund is, um, well, my main item that I use is a, a smart pen. Uh, it's actually a LiveScribe smart pen, but I mean there's a number of varieties. What this does uh, is it actually scans what I'm writing as I'm actually writing it and records the actual audio as well at the same time uh, in stereo through a, a small pair of headphones that I wear. And it sort of audio tags the notes that I make. so wherever I'm whatever I'm writing at the time that the sound is being recorded is actually tagged to that particular section of writing. Um, what this lets me do is later on I can just click on actually on the page on a specific point, specific word and so on. And it will play back the, the, the audio that I was actually hearing and listening to at the time. And um, I, what this means is I can actually leave gaps and listen to what the lecturer is actually saying. Uh, and then go back, listen to the lecture again, and make additional notes. So it takes some of the emphasis off actually having to write everything down there and then in the lecture. I can actually focus on listening to the lecturer um, or writing down what they've actually written on the board and then actually listen again, make sure I've actually understood it correctly and app actually append the notes. <coughs> now, um, as with anything, I can actually connect this to a PC and actually upload the contents of the pen. Um, you get a version of sort of an electronic version of the paper and the audio that's actually attached and this can be published in a variety of ways if you want to say through Evernote software or as an audio PDF um, and then you can transfer it to say a, your smartphone or your laptop your tablet and actually make use of it um, in, through, through that device instead I mean I t what I tend to do is I tend to keep the lecture notes with me and I actually listen back to the actual lecture itself whilst I'm, say, travelling on the train, um, and this helps me actually follow the notes by actually listening and, and reading at the same time. Um, as I say, the pen was actually funded through the Disabled Students Allowance, uh, but they're, they're not terribly expensive. You have to pay for a specific paper, though. It's got a lot of micro dots on it, and that's relatively expensive compared to normal paper. But it's, uh, it's fair to say that since I've actually had it, it's changed my the, the way that I actually deal with lectures, the way that I actually assimilate information, and it's made it a much more pleasurable experience for me. I don't feel that I'm quite so stressed anymore. I'm dyslexic, um, and it means that I can, and I can only sort of focus, one of the things I'm doing this film about, I can only focus on um, a small amount of, just to say one thing at once, so maybe what the lecturer is saying or what he's writing, I can't do both, so I'll be writing something down, not listening to him. I can go back and listen to this later on. And, what I usually use my phone to do that. Yeah. I just put my phone on. Well, these, so these, these headphones, they're, they're binaural headphones, they, um, they're stereo mics as well. So uh, and they, when you actually wear these and listen back to it, it actually sounds like you're in the room and listening to them massively. You can hear them moving around the same as you would. Do you know about can I buy those? They, these you can buy from, I think you can buy them from a lot of stationery stores now, so places like Staples or SMB. If not, then you can definitely get them online. It's uh, it's called this one's called the Live Scribe. It's um, um, how do you like say it's L I V E S C R I P E like that. Live Scribe, all one word. It's a Live Scribe Echo, and um, yeah, they're they're really good. And you can you don't just get paper either. You can get uh, post-it notes. You can get um, all sorts of bits and pieces for them. Um, different coloured inks. So I have got red and black as well. Um, and you just pop these out. Just pop that out, so it's easy to change the ink when you're actually in a lecture. You can just pop it in, do something in red. How, 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 how are we going to put the ink? You know, do that for how much time? So, or we can um, do refills. I've, yeah, I mean these refills. Um, I've I've used two since I've been here. This is my third. I was I was already using one, so I suppose I've used two of these in the whole of this this year. So um, they, you know, it doesn't look very big, but it lasts quite a long time. Uh, the, you get the them in packs of five or so. You can get, you know, different, 
you know, fine ones, medium, thick, whatever. So you get a whole variety of things. But it's, yeah, it's, it's the, uh, I, I commute as well, so I'm commuting for an hour and a half, two hours each way each day. So um, I can listen back, I use this to listen back to on the train. So what, 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 what is the capacity of the memory? Uh, this one is 4 gig, so you get 2, 4 or 8 gig. Um, this is 4 gig and it's just getting full now. So I've got all of my lectures, all my tutorials um, and anything else, some talks and bits and pieces recorded on here for the last year, for this academic year. And it's just going to be, to be full now. So, so you don't, but you can clear it out, obviously. You can just archive stuff and just keep it on computer as well.